Hello students, welcome to this class of MA final paper 5th B that is the American literature. I am Dr. S. S. Vedwan, Department of English and today we will discuss the art of fiction by Henry James. This essay by Henry James, it depicts what precautions and what measures are necessary and what a writer should write especially in fiction. Henry James, he was born in April 15, 1843 in New York, US and died on February 28, 1916 and he died in London, England because he was a naturalized English citizen from 1915 onwards. Some of the important works of Henry James are Daisy Miller 1879, The Portrait of a Lady 1881, The Bostonians 1886 and The Ambassadors 1903. Henry James, he had a great literary corpus to his name. He wrote for 51 years, a very long career of writing and his literary corpus include 20 novels, 112 tales, 12 plays and some literature related to travel and criticism. Now this particular art of fiction is a critical essay published in 1884 in Longman's magazine. So it was published in the Longman's magazine. It is a rebuttal. Henry James wrote it as a rebuttal to fiction as one of the fine arts, a lecture given by Sir Walter Besant in 1884. So the art of fiction is a rebuttal to Sir Walter's topic entitled fiction as one of the fine arts in which James he disagrees to an extent with what Sir Walter had described in his fiction as one of the fine arts. Henry he presents his views on literary realism and it was published separately in 1885. He says, in this essay, he explores the problems of novelists. James, he said that the condition of the fiction is not very good. People or even writers don't take it seriously. So, it needs a reboosting. And James, he tries to explore the reasons behind it. In this essay, he has tried to explore the reasons behind uh, the people not taking much interest in literary works. He says that the cause of this attitude may be the old superstition about fiction and painting being wicked. Some of the people, they believe that these are wicked things. So, uh, James, he says that it is a fine art like painting and music. He supports the argument of Mr. Besant's views who says that fiction should not only be reputed artistic, but it should be reputed very artistic indeed. So, let us discuss what all James presents in this essay. James, he disagrees with Besant's point that plot is more important than characterization. So, the first point is that plot is more important than characterization. James argues that the restrictive rules for writing fiction responding that no good fiction will ever proceed with a superficial mind. He says that plot is important, but characterization is also important. So, we cannot ignore 
proper characterization in a literary piece. Besant, he argued that fiction required both talent and certain rules to be followed. So he was of the opinion that there are certain rules which are to be laid down and they, these rules, they should be followed for creation of an appropriate literary piece. Here also James disagreed with Besant, uh, Sir Walter, and he presented his dissent in this essay, The Art of Fiction. James begins prominently with three points and he says that he plans to make throughout the essay he will lay stress on these three points. First is that fiction is an art in every way worthy to be called the sister and the equal of arts of painting, sculpture, music and poetry. He says that it is a part and parcel of fine arts like painting and music. James argues that fiction like all other arts is limitless. limitless. It is boundless. It cannot be uh, encompassed. It cannot be bound into rules and regulations. The second point that James raises, cites, is that it is an art which, like them, is governed and directed by general laws and that these laws may be laid down and taught with as much precision and exactness as the laws of harmony, perspective and proportion. Here, James Rebert's Sir Walter Besant's claim that rules are necessary to guide any form of art. He says that rules are okay, there should be rules, but these rules, they should not restrict a writer to write what he thinks is real. The third point on which James focus in this essay, The Art of Fiction, is that fiction is so far removed from the mere mechanical arts that no laws or rules whatever can teach it to those who have not already been endowed with the natural and necessary gifts. So he says that all these rules of novel writing as far as they are concerned, he says I am against this set of rules because they act as a hindrance in presenting the real. Finally, James points out that natural talent is required to excel in writing any kind of fiction and that rules can guide but cannot replace natural talent. James goes on to explore the thesis by analyzing the stages of creating a work of fiction and how they fail or succeed depending on certain qualities in the writer. James agrees with Besant in general ways, but he also presents his own arguments. Besant, he tries to limit what an author can experience by dictating that one must write from experience. So, he lays much stress on experience, while James argues that it is true that writers, they should write what they know, that is what they have experienced, what, what they have felt. But writers cannot be restricted to write their own perspective. They are free to make use of their imagination. They can use their imagination to that extent to which they feel it perfect for the literary writing. He says that writers are free to share their own experiences. And so their works can hold many facets of the world and still be true. He says, gives the example that the only rules for writing fiction may be that it should be interesting and written from experience. A sensitive and, imagine right, uh, and imaginative writer can take the uh, finest hints of life a very minute observation from life and he can convert it into a concrete revelation. So, Henry James, he is of the opinion that experience is okay, but the works, they can hold many facets and 
they can present a true account. Basant, on the other hand, said that characters should be clearly illustrated. And he make a list of rules that designate clear illustration. So, he is, Sir Walter Basant, he is bent to follow certain rules and he makes a list of rules. James, on the other hand, he agrees that characters must be understandable. That is, they can easily be understood by the reader and relevant. They should also be relevant. He argues that there are innumerable ways to describe a character that will make them acceptable, relatable to an audience. Besant, on the other hand, he argues that a story must have a moral principle. Now, again, James objects. He says that a story must be interesting. It should create interest in the audience, in the reader, and argue that rules, they remove the art from the story. The creativity is removed if one is bound to follow rules. And these rules, they restrict the real creation. So, the writer, he should write using his imagination, using his experience and should not be bound by rules. A true artist, James says, will not be able to create an interesting story without imbibing morals into it. James, in his essay, that is the art of fiction, he encouraged writers to stay true to themselves, that they should write what they think is real, what they think is true and their vision and not to worry about following rules. Says rules, they can make us determine certain regulations, but a writer is free to use his own imagination, to use his own creative ability and there should be more focus on creating art. Like Shakespeare, he didn't follow certain rules and look at his dramas, look at his plays. They are a marvelous piece of literary writings. James, he also suggests that writers, let them do what they feel, look and sounds real to them. They should present the real account rather than what feels, looks or sort right. They should not run after what is right, but they should write what is real. They should, their literary works, they should reflect the real and not what seems to be right. He says that the subject of the novel, although it should be it can be any subject, but we can at least advise a writer that its subject should be that which is closely related to the experiences of the people so that they can associate the audience, the reader, they can, asso they can associate themselves with the subject, with the writer. So, in this article, we find James' view on the art of fiction. And he says that literature knows no boundaries. Any writing knows no boundaries. And a writer, he should write what he feels is real, what he feels is closer, what he feels the audience can associate to. And he should not be bound by the rules. Thank you, students. I hope you have understood James' essay, The Art of Fiction. As I told you in the very beginning, it's a rebuttal and it's a rebuttal to Sir, Walter, Sir Walter's arguments. Here, James, we can say that he encouraged the writers to stay true to themselves and write in their literary writings what they feel is real and they should not be bound by rules. Thank you very much.